remember when we cut this? Brings back good memories. That, see man. the top hat? I yeah. thought at that point we should be heavier on the top hat. You kept saying no brush it. Yeah, you gotta be the, the guitar had to be a little deeper. The guitar, the, car, the, car, the guitar was deeper, so we had to raise the hi hat. What, what do you think, Hop? I think you guys are awesome musicians, man. <laughs> I groove to your stuff all the time. Hey, you know what's really funny? Denny Diaz. Speaking of like well, grooving exactly. musicians and stuff like that. So my son is pretty much now ready to move out of the house. So things are kind of opening up and there's not much going on. So I have now set up my my amp. You took his room already? No, this is the front. This is the front of the house. Okay. Front room of the house, man. Oh, the east wing. I got yeah. I got my I got my sun my sunburst electric guitar. I got my again? amp. I'm back jamming. Dude. Yeah. And the other the other day I got home from work and I was like just so like it was good, but I was just spinning. My head was spinning, and nobody's around, and I'm home at like five thirty, which never happens. <laughs> did you so I, did gr- you I grab a beer and I go That's to the awesome. front of the house and I just turn up the amp. I don't care about the neighbors, and I just start playing. I got my pedals, Are my you effects. Ready for the time? I get done. <laughs> it's probably forty-five minutes later, neighbors? and I turn everything off, and I go to sit down, and I'm I made myself some dinner, and I'm watching the TV. I'm like, why is my head ringing? <laughs> and it was you need because, to wear headphones. Well, man. that was the reason, and I, it brought back memories of when I used to go to rock concerts all the time and stuff. But well, we would create. We sit. You know, oh, they God. would blow your ears out. We didn't oh, yeah. realize it. They would ring for day. I was part of the Big. fun, man. Oh, loved it. But loved well, it. it's cool you're jamming. I should it come up. Fun, we, should, man. we should. We should record a little bit of opening for our show. I agree. Because <laughs> I'll do a little well, rhythm we, guitar. There we for could you. record you could, some different. Version. You still and have then, a drum set at your house? I have a drum set. Pop, there. you play the drums? No, but I play a mean kazoo. All right, well, I nice. love a kazoo. Cowbell. Yeah. My son wanted to get rid Cowbell. of his drums. We need more I, bell. Yeah, I told, him, I told him no. Don't get rid of the drums. I'll use them. Yeah. I don't know exactly how to play, but I'll use them. So I've gone on YouTube a few times, have the songs going, and you just follow YouTube. It's cool, man. Cowbell. Cowbell. <laughs> so, <laughs> how about um, Surge? Yeah, so um, it seems to be in the news a whole lot lately, and you would think, and this is a, he once he won his major, that the monkey's off the back, he's married, he has a baby, life would be great. And, you know, I always thought if I could be any pro, it would be Serge, because he's a god in, in his country. Right. I mean, he is just. So, but there's a demon inside, it seems like, right? Doesn't it seem like it? There's something going on. Well, there <laughs> is. I mean, it's got to be, I mean, you know, we were talking about like when I turned 50 last week, I mean. Things change, obviously, as you get older, and he's just got married. You know, he won the Masters. He got married. He got a baby. He has a baby. He's a zillion zillionaire. Yes. And on top of that, he's got a zillion more. But if you look back at his career, there are many, 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 many times where he has imploded like he has recently. I don't think it's much different than what he's done. I just think it's actually been a little while So you just think it's part of his, his fierce competitive, and that's his, his nature. That's yeah. what your sets... You know, I don't think he's ever been kicked off a golf course for slamming and tearing a green apart, ever. No, but didn't he choke away a major like two or three it, years ago? Yeah, but I, yeah. but that was. I mean, it. there was something major, like he was going into the fourth round and and hit something really bad. So, I mean, but, <laughs> well, he missed, he missed a five footer would have won the Open Championship. So listen, to, yeah, li- would have won. He did. And lost in the play. He missed a four or five footer, and he's had many a close call. <laughs> listen to some of the stuff. <laughs> but, but, I found. But some wait a minute, yeah. Pop. It wasn't his game that was breaking. You know, he did choke a little bit. Not choke. He did stumble in playing. But we're talking about his action after the stumble. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead, Mike. Well, there's a well, list of a few. Things. They've got. A, I found a list of things he's done, and I totally forgot about some of these things. And, and no other golfer has done this stuff. So. Um, during the world match play, I don't remember exactly what year this was, but Garcia, he hit a shot that he didn't like. And he, you could tell he was going to throw his club, and instead he took his shoe yeah, off the, and he threw it into the crowd. I saw who that, does that? I saw that video this morning. I saw that video. Like, who does that? <laughs> nobody else well, could better get, than getting hit with a seven But iron. nobody else could get away with that. Well, Could you imagine anybody else doing that? Yeah, there was. Well, there's. It's. It's. No, I can't. But there's a lot so, more of those frustration things you don't usually see on TV. No, but when you put them all, yeah, <laughs> right? when you put them all together, was, but in a in a nice like greeting card. Well, well like they, how about 2007? They 13, have a plethora of his yeah, things. Yeah, the 13th, thir- the 13th hole, 2007 uh, uh, championship, and he he misses a six footer. He picks. He knocks the ball in, and he actually well, he picks the ball up, and he spits on the green 
where the ball was supposed okay. to be sitting for a mark. I'll be picking on my Sergio here, man. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just kidding. His I, antics, I love him. His, his disrespectful antics has, has been brought to the intention. Uh, it's, it's like you said, it's been going on forever. But it's recently <laughs> he's had some, he's been kicked off. He got kicked out of a tournament. Yes. That's almost unheard of. Yes. For, for behavior and he because he damaged he actually physically damaged the he golf has court. a he has a club so throw up? named after him he has the it's called the, toss? the tie fly oh, come on I am not kidding <laughs> he's got a so does the, he fling clubs that often so it, they have a thing here's a video tie Thailand golf championship 2011 it was two years before he wins there okay he strikes strikes the ball and the club his glove got stuck and the ball ends up in the water on the par three eighth so he didn't like the shot, so he took his his air and he threw it in the water. He just threw his club in the water. Well, there are a lot of people have done that. Lots and lots and lots. But and now lots he gets it have because done he's done enough stuff. Now it's called the tie fly. Yeah. If you're know. over in Thailand <laughs> and you decide to throw your club, so I'm trying it's to a think if I ever tie flied. I don't think I've I've rarely ever thrown a golf club in my life. Rarely, but I've seen a lot of people do it. He destroyed but, an ESPN mic at the U.S. Open in 2012. That I know. I read some of these things. I mean, we think John Daly's a bad boy. It hurts me to say these things. So let's, <laughs> I had no idea. I didn't realize oh, he had done all this. Oh, and and he's he bad. He belittled golf courses in his interviews. Yeah. Remember that? And he said it was unfair, and it was all about you know maybe these the rules are against me. Remember he had a whole yes. interview, and he, yeah. he stormed off that these rules these are all against me. You're all about Tiger, and you know he was. It's just he was hating. So there's something. Is it is it fire and passion inside? Is there something deeper? That's because you'd think I, he'd be the most happy guy. I think guy. he has issues outside of golf that he needs to address, is my feeling. But he got the, you know, the, the monkey off his back was he was the best player ever not to win a major. He had that thing going on forever like Ricky Fowler has now, right? Right. And even Phil had it for a while until he started his, you know, five majors. But he finally did it, and then he got married, and then he had a little one, and you would think. You would think. You would think, right? You would think. And it now, did, has he ever been, like, arrested or domestic violence or anything like that? Not that, I, that that we could read, but I do have a statement from him. Who destroys five greens I know. during a tournament? Who does five, that? You know, How can he still be playing? They Well, they suspended him, didn't they not? For I don't know. They, they did. They did. I mean, I, I get... I don't know about the tour. They suspended yeah. him from that event. And, I get and, frustration, but like... And find him. Again, I say, like, they say John Daly's a bad boy. Yeah. Yeah, I guess... I, I, I just, you know, I love Sergio. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, it's just... There's, like, a, there's a lot. There's a, When you put all that stuff together, it's like like what Hop said. It's like, what what's going on right. behind the scenes? There's got to be more going on well, here. Well, Sergio is Sergio's recent quote. I obviously have... Some time. I obviously had some time to reflect. This is after his suspension, and I want to, and I want to again say I'm sorry to my fans and fellow competitors. What happened is not an example I want to set, and it's not how I truly want to truly am. It's not who I truly am. I'm an emotional player, and while I believe that's one of my biggest strengths, it's also one of my biggest flaws. I'm focused on working hard to channel that emotion in the correct way and to be the best me. Learn from it and move forward. Thank you for your, for all of your support. And patience. So it sounds like to me he's having a professional work with him a little bit. It's it's tough because events will stop inviting him. Although yeah. he, he's a recent major champion, so he's got exemptions. But that could bring a new angle to golf. <laughs> I might go watch, actually follow him, just because of those things. Because uh, if you too if, much hate in this world, if right you now. Re, no, but <laughs> if you recap like just stuff that they put together, and this is on like the the, the um, National Club Golfer site. They've got three club throws, a launch shoe, damaged tee box, five greens, two bunkers, a launch one shoe, one bush, <laughs> a microphone dis- destroyed, yeah. spit on a green, and getting really, really upset at a caddy in front of everybody to the point where you thought it was almost going to be a physical attack. And, and media and gallery. Something's not right so, there. Remember the gallery used to give him a hard time with his yeah. grip, and then yeah. when he played in rat, they would just yell at him, and he would yell back. And, right. And that's when everything was against him in the world. So there is some inner things, and I feel bad for the surge because well, I do too. I'm I not. Don't, I don't n- dislike. Not him. in his head, and, and didn't know a lot of these things because I think he was like you said. It just recently been brought to the attention, and then they go back and look at all of these things because the PGA doesn't want unless it's caught on live TV. Right. They're not going to show it, right? The PGA right. Tour, they're not going to show it. Right. But now there's cameras everywhere and cell phones everywhere. 
Well, and the PGA Tour has never been a bad boy league. Right. It's so, not. It's not right. like what basketball used so, to be. So they don't it's, show it. Right. But now everything he does is being videotaped. Right. Everything is being. I don't know. Yeah, they're all being it's captured. Archived. So it's captured by galleries. It's captured by everybody. So now everything he's doing is coming to the forefront. So it's probably been going on forever. But you, and you really haven't even heard other players mention anything mm-hmm. about it. You think you would? So I hope he's got it calmed down because he's he's great for the game. But he might be getting close to. You know, what is he? Forty something? Well, not old is Sergio Garcia. Um, I'm not sure. Early forties. But games too. You know, should be too much fun. But uh, you know. Maybe you know what he thirty nine years old, almost forty. You know January ninth. That's need, close to your needs, birthday. He needs to eat better. That's maybe that's the problem. It's nutrition. Maybe he's got some gut rot going on. <laughs> he needs. He could have really bad. It could be yeah. a gluten issue. And I know when you don't feel well, you do get mood swings. <laughs> it could I, be, I'm that way. It could be all about gluten. Yeah, I mean, I don't go tear up greens when I feel bad. You ought to follow your guys' example and always have a good morning BM. <laughs> yes. say, maybe that's his problem. It's a great way to start a day. It, it's an huge. amazing day to, way to start it a is. day. It and is. anytime I think about eating some food that I shouldn't be eating, I just think about what's <laughs> going to happen the next day, and I just go, it's not worth it. <laughs> no, I get it. I treasure you, that. Because even I when treasure you, have, you have a beer and realize, oh, no, it's going to yeah. make, it's going to, it's not worth it having Gluten free beer. beer, totally cool. I got it. Totally cool. Pop, thank you for your expertise and time today. Yes, thank you. It. Thank you, guys. Mike, you'd be good, all right, my friend? You too, Mr. Gibbs. Keep it on course, people. See you in a Thank you, everybody. Thank you to Dr. Ryan McGowey for partnering with us as well. Check out his website, healthyslowcounty.com. Thank you for listening. Give him a call at 805-461-8822. Sure thank you, guys. On the web. Taylor made golf.